go. Right now, we're moving Angus in with the hens. All right, his hormones are up. He courts no matter what. So now we're just moving him where he needs to be. You ready? Yep. Then we'll just let them do their thing. All right, here's your new digs. Oh, yeah, he's ready to go. OK, your girlfriends are over there. They'll be over to visit you in a few minutes. You do your thing. They put the beard out. They put the tail up. They drop their wings so that they have that white patch on the shoulder showing. And then they make all these really cool sounds. A lot of times, birds will use that lower frequency sound because it'll travel farther. Even though it's not a loud call, the birds can hear it over long distances. They're already looking at him. They know he's here. Well, he is handsome. Yes, you are. You're handsome. He's going to get the job done. We should have fertile eggs by the end of the week. We've had success now um, with moving Angus in with these two hens. What's unique about the Capricali is the males put on a little bit of a show. They use their feathers to create more of a scene to catch this female's eye. We actually did observe the female hens soliciting to the male Capricali doesn't necessarily always look very pretty. But it is not aggressive. This is a natural behavior. They copulate it at least twice. And now um, we should be getting some fertile eggs from our trio out here behind the World of Birds area. OK. The egg laying has begun. Well, let's turn it on until we get set up. We take the eggs from the Capricale, because in the past, we've let them try to incubate themselves and try to parent rear, and it just hasn't worked out. OK. You ready? Mm-hmm. The Capricale eggs, they're all at different stages, so we're just seeing how each one is progressing. Candling is when you take the egg and hold the egg up to the light and check for fertility and development. Looks new. When was this laid? Just a few days ago. OK, so we're not seeing anything yet. Some of these Capricale eggs, it's a little too early to tell if they're fertile, but we can tell that there are definitely some on the way, so that's always very exciting. I can feel this little guy moving. I'm anxious, but very excited. Uh, this, is, this is why I get up in the morning every day. Look at him. Yeah. You see how dark it is? It's because the chick is in there, filled up the egg now. Perfect. The bird has broken the outer shell. He should continue around the entirety of the egg, cap this end off. We can expect to see it hatch now anytime within the next 48 hours. OK, so I'm going to put this guy in. OK. Can you hold this up? The hatcher is the same temperature. However, the humidity is a bit higher, which aids the chick in hatching and prevents it from drying out during the hatching process. I usually do come and take little peeks throughout the day. <laughs> um, and then, you know, it doesn't look like there's anything happening. And then that last time will come, and it will just be a perfect chick. Right. She's a secret peeper, I think. I am. I don't tell her how many times I come in here. <laughs> So let's see our little guy here. Oh, beautiful. Look at you. Welcome. Welcome. And you can see this is a perfect hatch. He worked hard. He's calling. <whistles> He's so cute. I don't think I've seen a cuter chick. He's now ready to be moved upstairs to his brooder. OK, little guy, come. We have had instances with our hens where they haven't cared for the chicks adequately. Here we go. So we do keep the chicks in the brooder for the first uh, month, at least, until we see that they are growing and developing. And he's beautiful. There you go. We're going to start you off in a little world. 
little nugget. Let's see how much you weigh. It's important at this stage that we weigh them daily to be sure that they are eating. 36.2. All right, little guy. He's going to do a lot of sleeping for the rest of the day. He doesn't know how to use his legs yet. And it's so cute. He looks like me on the couch at night. He looks good, right? Oh, he looks good. So I give him a little donut here, just so he can learn how to stabilize himself. <laughs> there aren't a lot of Capricali in American zoos, so it's very important that anything we learn can definitely be applied to wild populations, which may be needed at some time if they should reach a critical level. Very sleepy. 